Disadvantages of keratopigmentation. It is a surgery, it can present surgical and degenerative complications of the cornea, it can affect vision due to surgical complications and the induction of irregular astigmatism. We are creating tunnels in the cornea and we can deform the anterior surface of the cornea creating an irregular astigmatism. Offsets, since we have to make the ring with a laser, the visual axis as one thing and the anatomical axis as another thing, which often do not coincide and we can create an offset that gives an appearance of pseudostrabismus, because the dye is not well aligned in both eyes and finally we give an appearance of pseudostrabismus. The appearance is always artificial, robot eyes, there is a progressive diffusion of the pigment in the cornea, because the cornea is water, so over time it spreads and loses its effect. And the more. One of the most important and serious things is that it will be incompatible with most eye surgeries in the future. And, of course, this already. Here are examples of irregularity, irregularity of the central hole. They cannot leave a very small hole because otherwise the patient is left with practically no visual field. So, the hole must be relatively large, through which we see the real pupil and the real lyris pigment, the one behind it. I'm finishing. Here we see the drawbacks. What does this translate into? In that, as we see on the left, to explore a retina we meet mitriasis, dilate, dilate the eye to be able to see the retina well. To do cataract surgery, we have to dilate to be able to extract the cataract. But, uh, to do a renal experiment surgery, we need to dilate. La catarata. Para hacer una cirugía de experimento de retina, necesitamos dilatar. Then for other techniques, for the treatment of glaucoma with laser and other techniques, then we are going to have the problem that we have covered the inside of the eye. That is, we have... We have dyed a large part of the cornea with a permanent dye and we are not going to, to be able to carry out all these types of explorations or surgery. Among them, the laser myopia operation, because the pigment is in the cornea, so we will not be able to intervene again in the cornea and they are totally contraindicated. Here we see the difference in appearance. Here we see a case of a good laser depigmentation result with a completely natural appearance. If you were visited by an ophthalmologist, you would see absolutely nothing. I could do any examination, any surgery, for myopia, the appearance. No scars or traces left. And here we see an example of a good case. This is a good example of keratopigmentation. It also does not hold up to comparison with contact lenses. Colored contact lenses will always look better than keratopigmentation, as we can see here. This is a patient who sent me these messages two weeks ago. No. The keratopigmentation was done and he asked me for help because he had done it and he had realized, taking a photo and enlarging it, that he did not like the result and he asked me if the pigment could be removed and I told him that it was impossible. They proposed to do a laze, which is a removal of the anterior part of the cornea, but it cannot be done because the thickness of the cornea would be so thin that it would lead to ecstasia. This is the book that we have just published on ocular laser depigmentation and what we are working on now to avoid the phases and to be able to do the technique in just one step that would greatly benefit patients. Nothing else. Thank you.